Ayo, what is poppin' poppers? In today's video, I'll be displaying my most expensive fungal pops in my collection using the brand new vaulted vinyl display vault air. So let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, so right here I have the Display Vault Air by Vaulted Vinyl. If you're not familiar with Vaulted Vinyl, Vaulted Vinyl is the innovative leaders of protection and display for Funko Pop figures. And they've made some really awesome stuff in the past. I personally use a lot of their protectors around my collection. I have a lot of them and I really do like them a lot. This is my first time getting one of their vaults and it's their brand new Display Vault Air. They've had some vaults made in the past that kind of look like mini suitcases that you can carry your Funko Pops in. But this one right here isn't no suitcase. It's actually a full-on display for the wall. And I've seen a lot of people talk about these and a lot of videos made on YouTube. So I'm super excited to find have mine come in the mail and finally take a look at it for myself because this thing just looks super awesome the current price for the display vault air on vaulted vinyls website is 75 dollars and if you want to get one for yourself i'll put a link down below to their website now what i plan on doing in today's video is unboxing the display vault air right here and showcasing my nine most expensive fungal pops in my collection and talking about the stories behind them i think it's going to be a lot of fun because it's going to be cool to look at some of the more expensive fungal pops in my collection it won't be the top nine most expensive because some of the pops are out of their boxes and i don't really want to put them back into the boxes because then the whole display gets messed up and it gets messy and afterwards i have to go back and fix it with the way i'm displaying my pops so i just decided to use the nine most expensive fungal pops that i have in their boxes right now but yeah, I'm going to unbox the Display Vault Air right here, and I'll come back when it's fully out of the box. So I've actually opened up the Display Vault Air right here, and I thought it'd be cool to show off the inside of this box. The top of the box says, display your passion, and over here it says, your satisfaction matters to us. Now inside the box obviously came the Display Vault Air, which is right over there, and I'll show that off in just a second. But right here is actually instructions on how to put up the Display Vault Air on your wall, and a few screws just to help you with that job. But yeah, here is the Display Vault Air right here. This can fit pops that are in soft protectors, hard protectors, no protectors. This fits everything, except except for six inch pops, obviously. But yeah, now that I have the display out of the box, I'm gonna come back with my nine most expensive fungal pops, show them off one by one, and also, since I'm at it, fix the, the camera because you can barely see the top of the display. So the first pop that I have here is Rap Pink, which is currently valued at around $50. But yeah, here we have Rapping right here, one of my most expensive fungal pops in my collection, currently valued at $50. This was a San Diego Comic Con 2019 exclusive, shared exclusive to Toy Tokyo, and this is a glow in the dark. This pop is really awesome and was gifted to me from my fellow YouTuber. You might know him, his name is Top Pops. If you don't know him, go check him out. It's always nice to help out smaller creators. But yeah, this other fungal pop YouTuber named Top Pops gave me this pop alongside a bunch of other pops about a year ago, maybe two years ago now. It was a really awesome video where I showed off a bunch of different pops that he sent me. I believe at the same time he sent me some Rick and Morty pops, Wally Warhead some sodas and he tried to choose these out based off of random characters that he had in his collection that he thought i would like i remember at the time i was talking to tristan on discord one day and i told him how much i wanted to get a rapping fungal pop but since i'm located in canada they don't really sell these exclusive uh san diego comic con toy, uh, toy tokyo exclusives anywhere around me and tristan was kind enough to send me it in the mail a couple weeks later but yeah there is my ninth most expensive fungal pop that i'll be talking about in today's video which is currently valued at around 50 dollars canadian now this next one is actually really cool this is the game planet exclusive silver jack jack this is 367 and I believe the pop animation line from the Incredibles 2 movie. There was a bunch of different Jack Jacks made and this is the only one that I own in my collection. Now the backstory behind how I got this pop right here is pretty interesting. Back in 2018, I was searching Funko on YouTube and I came across a YouTube channel named PatTube at the time, which was holding a giveaway for this Jack Jack pop right here. And I wanted this pop because at the time the Incredibles 2 pops were just releasing and I could not get my hands on any of the exclusive Jack Jacks since there were so many and I wanted to take a shot at getting this one. So I decided to repost the giveaway on my Instagram story and I actually won the giveaway and PatTube sent me the Game Planet exclusive Jack Jack right here in the mail. Now the funny thing about this story behind this pop is that when I was watching this YouTuber's live stream, they only had a few hundred subscribers. And the crazy thing is that YouTuber is now one of the biggest Funko Pop YouTubers and one of the biggest Funko Pop TikTokers. And that is none other than Funko Pat himself. Funko Pat has been killing it on YouTube and on TikTok, and I think it's pretty cool to say that I have a Funko Pop from a giveaway a couple years ago. But yeah, there is a Game Planet Jack Jack, which is the eighth most expensive Funko Pop that I'll be going over in today's video, which is currently valued at around $60. Next up, we have the He-Man Funko Shop exclusive art series pop. Now this pop is actually still in the seal because I completely forgot that I bought this. I bought this pop during the summer from Toys R Us because I saw that it was a Funko Shop exclusive. I've never seen any of the Funko Shop exclusives at Toys R Us, and I wanted to get it just because it was pretty expensive. It was like $40 for this pop actually. And now it's currently worth $63. So only a $23 investment on the pop. Oh, I say only, but that's still pretty good. Like I mentioned earlier, pops with hard stacks, pop with soft protectors, and pops with no protectors all fit inside of the Display Vault Air. And that's why this guy is fitting in here. But yeah, nothing too crazy behind this pop right here. I did get him from Toys R Us, I believe, this last summer. I just got him mainly because it was a Fungal Shop exclusive and it had the limited edition sticker. And 
I never really saw those in person at Toys R Us and I thought it'd be cool to get as my first art, art series pop. I thought I'd make a cool video and that's why I got it and I completely forgot I had it in my collection until today and checking the Funko app, which I don't really check the Funko app too often. So it was pretty cool and actually pretty awesome to see that I went up in value a lot since I uh, first bought it. Next up, we have actually a pop that I didn't know was worth this much and that is the Scary Terry Neon GameStop exclusive. This came in a box from GameStop alongside a pop tee, I believe two or three years ago. And this pop is currently valued at $83 Canadian, which that price just blows my mind because I would not expect this pop to be worth that much. Let's put them right here. Now the story behind this pop isn't anything crazy. Actually, I got this one also from Tristan Top Pops. Now a few years ago when I went to Toronto Comic Con, Tristan Top Pops told me that he was gonna be there as well. And we decided to arrange a trade between us. He would give me a bunch of, of Rick and Morty pops that I needed to complete my Rick and Morty collection for the General Grievous Walgreens exclusive, which if you think that's a bad deal sure personally for me it helped me out a lot because i got roy from that i got this scary terry pop from that i got young rick from that i got another morty i'm not even sure which morty it is hold on if i look out evil morty i got evil morty from that I got a bunch of Rick and Morty pops that I needed from that, and I thought it was a great deal considering that it was just one pop per five. But yeah, honestly, I actually can't thank Tristan enough for that because if it wasn't for him helping me out with those pops, I'd probably have to pay a killer amount for some of those. But yeah, Scary Terry came in a GameStop exclusive uh, pop tee bundle. It came with this pop alongside a pop tee. Now, next up, we have a more recent Funko Pop in my collection, which is the Iden Versio right here. This pop is currently valued at $80. I don't know why I did Scary Terry before Iden. Let's just say that they're both worth $80 for the sake of the video. But yeah, this is the GameStop exclusive Gaming Greats Chase Iden Versio. This pop is really cool, and I did get this one more recently, actually. My recent mystery box battle with Tristan, I got the Iden Versio Chase right here. And it is currently worth around $80 uh, Canadian, which honestly just blows my mind. Now, next up is actually a really cool one in my collection. A pretty nostalgic one, since I haven't talked about this in a video for years now. And that is the Orange Chrome New York City Comic Con 2018 exclusive Batman. This pop is insane. And I, like I said before, I haven't talked about this pop in a video in a very long time. This pop is currently worth $120 Canadian. It's been such a long time since I've talked about this pop in a video. I got this pop in 2018 from a Gotcha Robot mystery box. And I was really sad to see that Gotcha Robot stopped producing as much uh, content as they used to. I believe last year they just completely stopped posting on their Instagram and they no longer have a website. All right, guys, we made it officially to the top three most expensive Funko Pops in my collection. Now, these three are some really awesome pops. I've shown them off a lot of times on my channel. So if you're familiar with my channel, you probably know what these three pops are already. So the third most expensive Funko Pop in my collection is Luna Lovegood with glasses, exclusive San Diego Comic-Con 2017. This pop is really awesome. It's number 41 in the Pop Harry Potter line. It's a really cool pop that I picked up from Hot Topic in 2017. Now, this was actually my first year of experiencing summer convention exclusives, and I actually went to Hot Topic during that time. I believe during that summer was when I actually officially started collecting Fungal Pops a lot. And the summer that I officially started collecting a lot of Fungal Pops was San Diego Comic-Con 2017. And that year, I picked up a bunch of San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, some Walking Dead characters, South Park characters, and obviously Luna Lovegood right here. Now, the funny thing behind this pop is actually, I didn't mean to buy it. I really didn't know much about the character at the time, and I only got it because it looked cool, and I wanted to get a third pop from Hot Topic. That's it. It might sound funny, but that's literally the whole story. The whole story is that I wanted a third pop from Hot Topic. I remember seeing Steve on the table, thinking it was cool. I didn't get it though, because I wanted to get Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter. Moving on to a classic Ride the Pop Guy pop on the channel, Roy. $170 Canadian. The, my second most expensive fungal pop in my collection right here. This was a part of my trade with Pop Pops from Toronto Comic Con back in 2018 or 2019. Now, actually, if I remember correctly, this wasn't actually a part of the trade. I think at the time I purchased this pop off of him. So when the Blitz and Chits box released, I actually ordered one from GameStop in the States since they weren't available here in Canada. And I unfortunately got the Rick and Morty in chair. I did not get Roy. Roy was considered the chase of the box since he was really hard to get. And Tristan, of course, being having his fungal pop luck, he got two Roy's in two of his boxes. So since he had doubles, he offered to give me the second Roy, which I of course took for $50. So yeah, I did buy this pop off of Tristan for $50 since he had two of them and it was starting to go up in value. It does have minor box damage, nothing too crazy. I have fixed it since then, since it's just like something you need to put like a book on top of and it literally fixes. I thought that I traded the General Grievous for this pop, 
but actually i remember that was a part of a separate deal i paid 50 dollars for this and then i gave him the general grievous for this alongside three other rick and morty pops which is still really good all right moving on to the most expensive fungal pop in my collection right here before i show this off i want you guys to comment down below your most expensive fungal pop in your collection i would love to know but yeah the most expensive fungal pop in my collection is kobe bryant number 24 in pop sports line this pop is honestly really awesome. Now this one actually goes back to Fan Expo Canada 2019. I went with a few of my friends and I also met up with Tristan and his brother Noah there. And Tristan thought it would be a cool idea to do a mystery box battle. And that's what spun out this whole idea of mystery box battles between me and Tristan. Uh, we've done a lot since then. But me and Tristan decided to do this mystery box battle where we bought one box from the Fugitive Toys booth and saw who got the better pops. Actually, we got two each. I got the Armored Batman DC Comics exclusive from my first box. And then out of my second box, I got Kobe Bryant. Tristan also did get two or three maybe Kobe Bryant's, I think, out of his boxes. And at the start of 2020, Kobe Bryant unfortunately passed away. This led the price of the Kobe Bryant pops to go up a lot due to scalpers. I remember the day that he passed away, a lot of people were selling the pop of him on eBay for listings of upwards to $3,000, $2,000. I was completely disgusted because the person just passed away and you're trying to think of a way to gain money off of this person's death. It's just morally incorrect. But yeah, that is the most expensive fungal pop in my collection. Am I ever gonna sell it? Probably not. And here is the nine most expensive fungal pops in my collection right now, displayed inside the Display Vault Air sent over from Vaulted Vinyl. Vaulted Vinyl, you guys absolutely killed it with the display. It's actually been a lot of fun filming this video and talking about these pops. It's really cool talking about the stories behind uh, some of these pops since they do have some really awesome stories. But yeah, before I got completely sidetracked, Vaulted Vinyl, you guys absolutely killed it with the display. For $75, I would say it's worth it since it's high quality. It's a great display for your more expensive fungal pops. But before I get out of here, once again, go check out Vaulted Vinyl for yourself. They have some really awesome products just like the Display Vault Air right here. And if you want to show the Display Vault Air for yourself as well, I'll put a link down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Peace.